Good morning, Cyber Friend. This is the Midi Man coming back at you again. Walk music with yet another word for the day. We give God praise, give Him the glory for life, health, and strength. We thank Him for as well as it is. And we dare not to complain. We also thank God for each and every one of you. Cyber Friends, you know who you are. It's the Midi Man coming this morning. We are, we are, we're in a little bit of deep freeze down here today. Matter of fact, when I first rolled this morning, it was like 25 degrees, and I think it's only up to about 30 now. So it's it's, it's after right after nine o'clock, right about now. So that's going to let you know we had a pretty frosty morning, and uh, I dare not complain though because it's compared to other places in this country this morning, we it's it's, it's sort of like a sunny day here. So we thank God for that. Well, saying people, I'm, I want to say some things. Uh, we've been. Like I said, we just about to get into the round of a, we just had another round of anniversaries. Uh, matter of fact, Pastor Willie Rawls at the Virgin Chapel Missionary Baptist Church, uh, I was there on Friday night, this past Friday night, in celebration of his, the churches celebrating his uh, pastor's anniversary. They ended it up on Sunday, and uh, they ended it up on Sunday afternoon, rather, and uh, we just saying that we done got in the round again. Everything goes around and comes back around. And so now it's, everything is in order. We are we're getting ready to go into my pastor's anniversary this month, as well as my other pastor from my third Sunday church, uh, Reverend David Ham. He will be celebrating his pastor's anniversary this third Sunday. So we're just, like I said, we're in the mix, and now we're busy again. And Well, I don't like to use that word, busy. I'm going to say productive. We are very we are very in a productive stage again, and know. Uh, we just give God the praise. We just speaking this morning. I don't tell you. I I made. Uh, I told y'all. I made my mind that we you know we were gonna tell the Bible for what the Bible really say. We're not gonna get cute. In other words, and really and truly, I never really want was wanting to do that anyway. But I'm I'm certainly not gonna do it now. We got to keep things on the level, point blank. If the scripture don't say it, leave it alone. And matter of fact, uh, we was talking about people giving folks opinions and everything. And I told people, I said, well, I try not to offer nobody no opinion unless they ask me for it. Now, if somebody asks me for something, I will tell them, I said, well, do you want the truth? And, you know, if you don't want the truth, don't ask me. Because if, I, if I'm not going to tell you what you want to hear, but I'm going to speak what I feel is the truth according to the Bible. In other words, so if you want someone to just agree with you, Regardless of what stance you take on a thing, well, I'm not the one to ask. I mean, you don't ask me because I'm going to tell you the truth according to the best of my ability, according to the Bible. Does that mean me, the man, got it all worked out? <clears throat> nope. Never. Believe me. I know better. I know better than sit here and try to act all self-righteous and act like I've never done anything and I'm not still. Is there still some bolts and nuts that need to be a little three-in-one all on my life? I'm not going to sit here and try to judge no one. Can't do it. I just ask God for his grace and his mercy to carry me through. And that same grace and mercy that carried me will carry you. That's the only thing I can say. In other words, don't get judgmental on people. Don't judge people anyway. You, we judge the sin, but not the people. And so with that being said, be the man just saying we hope and trust that everyone's doing fine and, and uh, that God is still with you, which I already know he is. You, God never leaves us. We leave him. And a lot of time, matter of fact, even when we think that God is uh, far from us, he's the one that's carrying us at that particular point in time. And uh, it took me a long time to realize that, but I did come to understand that principle. Jesus is with me when I most need him. In other words, the time when I think that he's not with me, that's the time he's carrying me. So in other words, we just want to say we thank God for each and every one of you in this. Make certain that you, we need to not only just uh, just to read the Bible, we need to study the Bible. And we need to not only study the Bible, we need to do and employ those things that we learn. That while we grow. We will grow. And we need to just stay close with Father, with the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, that Trinity. We don't understand it. We never will understand it. Please, people, if I could understand that, that would make me be God. So what we saying, and I'm going to say to you and each and every one of you, just do the best. Do what's right. Do what is right. Ask God for his help. The Holy Spirit is our guide. We cannot go wrong as long as we confess and acknowledge. We confess and acknowledge that we've been wrong and that we need a Savior. 
That's all we need to do. And then Paul said, we confess with our mouth the Lord Jesus, believe in our heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shall be saved. With that being said, whatever you get, whatever you get into, if God is not in it, it's best that you come out of it. Because I'm going to tell you people, it's going to come to nothing. I'm telling you, I've lived, I've seen it. It's going to come to nothing. And believe you, what goes around, come back around. And every man shall reap what he sowed, that including women. You shall reap what you sow. So that being said, this is me, the man saying peace. Goodbye.